guys, G2P Angler, Jason Reese here, heading out of Hillsboro Inlet. We're getting a little bit of a late start this morning. With me, I've got Juice, Ain't from Cincinnati. We got Laura, Parker, and Skipper. <laughs> so, we're gonna go out and do some trolling. It's super flat out here. We're, um, Troll for a couple of hours and then maybe do some bottom fishing and in before the afternoon storms hit. It's typical uh, summer June pattern where we're probably like stormy afternoon, so we'll we'll keep an eye on it. So putting some new stuff in the spread this morning. So swinging around here on uh, one of the outriggers, we're gonna send out this Islander looking lure. We're gonna send out this DTX 200 close to the boat. We're gonna send out this on the shotgun. A little squiddy combo here. It's gonna be a 4-6 uh, planer with a uh, pink and white sea wedge going out. And then on the last outrigger, we're gonna run this uh, skirt, Islander skirt, over a um, ballyhoo. So that's what we got going out. Hopefully we'll uh, come back online in a couple of minutes and we will be hooked up. All right, we're just up at Hillsboro, Hillsboro Inlet. And the planer just got hit. Yep, just start start reeling it in. Yeah, I saw it. I, I saw it pop up. Keep going. It's um, it's a really stiff, heavy rod, and you got uh, a planer down there too. Right off the inlet, 378 feet of water. A little more. Okay. Okay. Now, let's just start walking backwards. Great tuna, buddy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Look at that, Parker. Woo. Okay. Um, go ahead and pull, pull it out. Okay. And do what? Let's start reeling. Yep. There you go. It's not going. That's okay because it's, it's pulling line. All right. We're off Boca. 302 feet, and Laura's on our outrigger bait here, which I think that one is the ballyhoo. Is it? Is it coming in? Not okay. Hey, um, slow us down a little bit, Juice. Turn the, yep, turn, turn, turn the alarm off. Yeah, just keep us going forward just a little bit. Okay, go ahead. So you're gonna bring the, bring the rod tip up a little bit. So angle the rod tip up and then reel down. It's reel, not, yep. It, it, is, it is It is reeling, no, yeah. Right. That's the, the new little be no catch phrase. Don't blow it. No, no, real, it. Ah! no real fishing advice, just don't blow it. <laughs> yeah, well, what was it a mahi? I don't know. It's a jumper. This is Laura's first fish on the new boat. It's a Cuda. Oh, you want me to get back at it? All right. Not seeing much out here. We're in like 500 feet of water. Found a small weed light we've been following for the last 45 minutes with nothing going on. It's like 11 o'clock now. Three bites so far, two fish, one nice tuna, one, one barracuda, and one miss hit on the planer where it didn't hook up. And, uh, I think we'll just troll our way back towards the inlet, maybe do a little, a little bit of bottom fishing and try to get in before the afternoon thunderstorms hit. kind of run back in because the storm was heading for us. We didn't want to get caught out there. So we were just starting to bottom fish, just got chum out and a couple lines out and then pulled up and ran back in so we didn't get stuck. We got the whole family out with us. So recap for today, we um, only caught one keeper fish, one nice black fin tuna, uh, one barracuda that we tossed back. We only had um, two of the bites on the planter that pulled the bait, short strike and um, no, no hookup. So two for four, but the two fish that we hooked, we landed both of them. 
I think for me, highlights are good to hang out with my good friend Juice in town. Good to have my whole family out here fishing with me for a, a nice Sunday. And at least going home with a, uh, you know, delicious fish for us to make for dinner. Lessons learned, probably start earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how to miss it that. I mean, we, we did what we could. We, you know, got a couple and we probably could have caught more if we were out there longer, but beat the storm in, get these prepared. Anything else you want to add? Um, we learned the wind lift today. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, anchoring, anchoring the boat for the first time, second time, always a little bit of a harrowing experience, but as a family unit, no screaming at each other. We have uh, so far successfully docked without any marital exchanges, which I think is definitely a win, potentially a highlight. Genius, anything to add? Just don't blow it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm ready to go prepare this fish. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so swimming in the ocean a couple of hours ago. Go on top of the cracker. Put a little jalapeno on there. A little bit of this. Saki. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. Good job on that one.